Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of the Not So Berry Legacy Challenge. And we are joining um Adrian and the girls. It is the twins' birthday. But um it's nine o'clock at night, so we need to Oh what's wrong? Oh we've got no counter space. Okay. Let's get some counter space. But we're joining um we're joining Adrian and the girls as, you know, we start a new chapter in their life because it's the girls' birthday. Right, let's put this in the corner. So now we have, actually we could probably put this over here. Although that's going to just sit really weirdly. All right, let's put it back. Resume chocolate cake. Yes, new chapter in the girl's life. It's their birthday today. And we've only got a couple of hours before they age up automatically. Adrian, why are you eating old food? I thought that was a bug that was cleaned. Not cleaned, fixed. I'm pretty sure that was a bug that was fixed. All right, Adrian, if you're really hungry eat the garlic noodles. Oh, both of the girls are going through their bear phase, which is rather cute and adorable, but you know, you're, you're getting, getting too old now. Don't need that. So, um, I was playing, I was playing them for a little bit offline. Okay. Add birthday candles. Please add birthday candles. Yes, thank you. And uh, Rosina, you come and blow out your candles. But nothing exciting happened. I was just trying to get Adrian up a bit further with the mischief skill because that seemed to be taking forever. All right, you need to come in and see your sister get a little bit older. Um, she's bald. Okay. We'll have to rectify that because we're not really getting the whole bald thing. Alright, and... Blow out candles. Yeah, I'm not liking the whole bald thing. They're both bald. Okay. Although they've grown up in identical dresses and boots which is cool but not really getting the whole bald thing let's change that shall we um command center modify household yeah i don't don't like them bald <laughs> noose down the layer um hair you were a redhead before Oh, I have new hair. Yeah, I'm liking that actually. That's cool. And your sister. What is she? Is that her everyday? That's her everyday. But she was in a different everyday dress. Oh, that was her party. No. Don't know what's going on there then. All right. Um, let's change your hair at least. And then we can decide what we're doing.
yeah. I'm liking that. But as for your outfits, I might as well change those quickly as well. Alright, that's not too bad. Is that your everyday outfit? Yeah. Not really liking the shoes though. Um, sneakers. Let's do a quick run through. Formal. Okay, we not doing sneakers for formal. Sleep, yeah, that's fine. No, that's athletic. Athletic, we need you to do something normal. Um, tops. And we need to find you some trousers. And we need to change those shoes. Yep, that's fine. Sleep, you can sleep in your alien staff party. I guess that's fine. Although I'm pretty sure that's the same as one of your other dresses. Swimwear. That's okay. Why is it all, whenever they're in swimwear, they're always in slippers? Same with, um, with sleepwear. Always wants to put them in slippers. Hot weather outfit, no, we don't want that. You give them a top. And we want um, a pair of shorts. Yep, that's fine. Cold weather. Change the shoes. We really don't want boots. And give you a top. Oh, is that the only colour it comes in? Okay, that could work. Alright, let's sort out your sister. I'm really not liking that dress. At least not for her. That's more... It looks like a nightgown. Let's just change it to a top and a bottom. Um, I like the cold shoulder tops, but not in that colour. And the skirt. Black, plain black. And we need the shoes. Again, with... Oh, no, these boots. I had really liked these boots. I downloaded them from somewhere. And I think they're awesome. No, they've got orange. Orange boots to match her top. Yep. Um, I like the dress. Let's change it, actually. I like the outfit, but not necessarily the shoes. Uh, no, I think that's a bit too risque to sleep in. Not for a teenage girl. You can sleep in a, a bra top. That's fine. And a pair of shorts. And no shoes. Uh, yeah, that could work. As, what, swimwear? Yeah, that is swimwear. Um, now that looks like she's wearing nothing. Yep. Yeah. Hot weather, top, and let's change those shoes. Because, you know, nobody wears boots. And cold weather. As you can tell, I am just clicking on stuff. That's not too bad. Right. That's the girl sorted. Yeah, they're still in the same clothes that... Yeah, they haven't moved out of their clothes yet. But Okay, we've changed them. We know we've changed them. So, Rosina, as the heir, what do you have for your traits? Because I have a mod that automatically assigns them traits. Hot-headed and a foodie. Okay. Um, it's fine, don't overreact. Um, can you treat me like an adult? You'll always be my baby. Yeah. 
the only thing I don't like about having kids is that you always get those stupid little pop-ups. Alright, let's put that in the fridge. And Adrian, we need to get your your mischief. Oh, repair that. We need to get your mischief up because you have reached level 8. I don't know how to get it higher, quicker. It just seems to be taking forever to do it. It's only halfway through. I don't know how to get it any higher, any quicker. Okay, so Adrian, what do you need to do? What do you want to do? You want to wash your hands? That's fine. Put that in the fridge. Let's get you doing some spying in the neighborhood. And Rosina, you need to do your homework. So we got them aged up in the nick of time and they're not going to get this, the, um, the whole depressed somebody forgot my birthday moodlet. Okay, Rosella, are you going to do your homework too? Right, so the girls are doing that. Adrian is spying on the neighborhood. Let's get that moving a little bit faster. I was wondering if I should marry Adrian and Summer. They're good friends. I think they're best friends. But they haven't really shown any romantic socials towards each other. I don't know if they need to be married. Because originally Summer, Summer was, to, was moved in to help with the girls. But I don't know if, um, if we really need I don't think she needs to be married to Adrian. If they start spamming romantic socials and kissing and stuff, then yeah. But I don't think they need to. What's it with the Sims eating rubbish food? Because Summer isn't a slob, right? I know slobs, they eat um, rotten food. No, she's not a slob. But like I said, I thought that was that was supposed to be fixed. But I mean, as long as it doesn't make her sick, then I'm not really that bothered. Alright, let's go a little bit faster. Alright, he wants to go to bed. Go on then. You go to bed. Rosina, you finish your food and then you go to bed. Actually, we probably need to give the girls their own separate rooms now. I'll have to look at the layout of the house and decide what I'm doing. Because there's... Oh, Ed Adrian, why are you... Why are you awake? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to give them their own separate rooms because um, Rosina, her colour is rose for her generation. I'd forgotten about that. <laughs> I just remembered. So, um, so yeah, we're going to have to give her a makeover. Why is she cold? Why is she cold? The thermostat's on. That is bizarre. Repair. Because she was glitching like that last time that she kept saying she was cold. If I click on her, sudden chill from swimming. Um, not seeing 
a pool. So not unless she was swimming in her dreams. I'm not sure where that sudden chill came from. Okay, Adrian, you're fixing that. Summer, you come and have a shower. I think that's the only way to, to remedy that. Or put on your, your winter clothes, I don't know. But that is bizarre. Oh yeah, she they, she was at um Summer was at Adrian's fire work workplace and there was a fire and she was in it. She caught fire. I th I thought she was going to die actually, but she didn't. Okay. Um you're sleeping. Rosina, where are you going? To chat with Alice. Who's Alice? Okay. Ooh, lots of plants and stuff we can harvest in here. And what else? I haven't decided if anyone is going to have the gardening skill. But... It could be something worth looking at. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Rosella, we didn't look at your traits, did we? Loves the outdoors and self-absorbed. Okay, sounds like a typical teenager. Hot-headed and foodie. Okay, I've just had a look at um, Rosina's generation, which is Rose. And it says you had everything you desired as a child, but you're always longing for more. As an adult, you have a hard time committing to relationships, so you're focused on your career. If we had a workaholic trait in Sims 4, you would have had it. You have absolutely no maternal instincts whatsoever, but you still love your child with all your heart. So her traits are going to be hot-headed, snob, and romantic. Right now she has hot-headed... No, that's Adrian. She has hot-headed and foodie. Her aspiration is serial romantic. And her career is politician. So we need to make a few changes. There it is. Right. So, um, alright. She wants to be hot-headed. Need snob or romantic. Let's go for romantic. Okay, so it was under MC cast change personalities, personality traits. Okay, go back. And then her aspiration, we can change that here. A uh, serial romantic. Yes. Have a boyfriend or a girlfriend and go on two dates. Okay, well this should be fun. We need to find you a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Do you know any boys or girls other than your family? Senior poly... Oh, okay. Senior poly pollination technician number three. I didn't realise I knew... Oh, I didn't realise they knew their mother. Alright, so we need to find you... a boyfriend or a girlfriend so where are we going where, sh where should we go I think we should go to the beach uh, no you go by yourself 
Okay, we have a young adult. These are your young adults. Change outfit. Let's change into your swimsuit. Let's get her swimming around and then maybe we might find someone to talk to. I don't know. I don't know. By swimming around in the same area that everyone else is, do you like... No. It's not really going... Ugh. Maybe we should have stayed at home and just done um, blind dates. Because all she's doing is swimming around in circles. Because, I mean, there's nobody really at the beach. There's a bunch of adults. There's Dwayne. We could introduce ourselves to him. He's quite, um... He's quite friendly, I think. Oh, she doesn't like... Oh, he's very angry. But why... I thought he was friendly. We'll sit and then talk to him. Um, talk about dreams. I oh, know you can't sit and talk. Oh, that's a bit. So little fun jumps out of evil things. Z was the door. Jeez. Yanka the moo. Yeah. Why is he very angry? Um. And the fact that he started out in the in the red. It's not good. Is there any reason why she does he doesn't like her? Okay, he's not very um He's not interested. What is she what is she learning? Why is there a bar over her head? What is she just... Is that fit? No, it's not fitness. Charisma, maybe? Or is it just stuck? I think whatever it is, it's just stuck. Because there's nothing that's nowhere that's almost filled. Oh, that looked uncomfortable. Alright, where are you? You've gone to get something to eat. Didn't you just cook something? Rosina, didn't you just eat? Oh, Dwayne doesn't like her at all. Okay, well, Dwayne's not the right person then. Maybe we should just go home and go on a blind date. We could do that, just do lots of blind dates. So at least she's gone on two dates. Does she need more than one boyfriend? Or just have one? Okay. Well, finish eat your food. And then we can do some blind dates. Okay, let's see if we can try at least one um, blind date before we finish the episode. So I've got an app, not an app, I've got a mod that is a dating app on their phone. So let's give her a blind date. Okay, we're looking for a blind date. Let's go for a male blind date. We'll try one male, one female, and we'll see how it goes. Is that Dwayne? <laughs> She's got Dwayne as her blind. Okay, I've decided to send Dwayne and Dwayne and Rose to um, a little calf in Windenburg.
because all the other places were bars and as a teenager you're not supposed to be going to a bar so first of all let's change your outfit um we'll do that but yeah she's got on on a on a date with Dwayne who she doesn't like all right, socialize. Ah, uh, talk about the rain. Give props. Tease about grades. What else? Um, sit here together. No. Sit together. Come out of the rain. Uh, you're embarrassed. Okay. Yeah, this is not going to go well. We know it's not going to go well. But you know what? We're gonna we're gonna see it through. Because we're committed like that. Okay. What else? Uh, discuss interests. Compliment outfit. And discuss interests. Yeah, that was one of the things. Let's do that again. Self-depreciating joke. Where's discuss interest again? Um, there you go. Discuss interests. He's very flirty. He doesn't like her, but he's very flirty. Okay. Uh, joke about Sunset Valley. Although she's more happy to take selfies. That's not what we want. Funny. Joke about Sunset Valley. No, I know you want to sleep, but no, I know he's boring. And you don't like him. Okay, tell your... Uh, oh my... Really? Tell your date a story. Um, friendly. Um, uh, no. Oh, I just saw the story thing. That's annoying. That is so annoying. Um, tell a group story about a giant to Dwayne. Um, are you telling a group story? And of course we've got um, Thorn Bailey. So that really isn't helping much. No, oh god, Thorn, really? Thorn, we don't need you at our table. Don't need you at our table. Thank you. <laughs> and now we've got some other random chick. Are you telling a story? Yeah, you're telling a story. Or at least Dwayne likes her now. No, no, don't go and sleep. Don't go to sleep. Um. Okay. Get to know. Um, compliment appearance. Do we really want to do that? We might as well compliment it. I mean, it is a date after all. Okay, flirt with your date. Well, there's only one way to go with that. Romance. Exchange numbers. Compliment. Um, compliment whatever that is. Pick up line. Oh. 
Okay, he grew up in the middle of their date. Confess attraction. That's probably not going to help. Oh, God, really? This is... Has it? Does this count as one of their dates? If I end it now, would that count? Um... I don't know. No, he's not interested. Okay, let's end the day. It's not going to go well. Ending early. Okay, we've gone on one date and it hasn't really worked. Alright, you need to go home then. Yes, enough. And soon, but Fatimore And then we'll go on another date. Because tomorrow's what, Sunday? We'll go on a date on Sunday with the girl and we'll see how that works out. Alright, let's try having a female, female blind. Oh, hold on. She needs to use the toilet. Let's get that out the way first. Because she won't <laughs> take an angry poop. Go and take an angry poop. Royal stats all good. Other than that, yes. Uh, female blind date. After our disastrous date with um, with Dwayne, we might as well go on a female blind date and see what that's like. And we will go back to Windenburg. I need to download some some um some teen places for teens because all we've got is bars and nightclubs and the gym, and that's not really where you want to go as a teenager. Okay, socialize with your date. Well, and friendly introduction. Uh, okay. Oh, no, there's that prank day. Okay, that's a prank day thing. Sit together. Uh, you're very angry. Okay, not sure why you're very angry. Uh, Socialise with your date. Uh, what are you two doing now? Okay. Sit and talk to your date. That's what you were doing before you got up. Okay, we could ask if single... No, oh my... No, 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 no. Don't, no. It's fine. Don't leave your date. Um, romance. No. Friendly. Ask about career. Helps fix bad relationship with this kid who's a fan. Oh, is she famous? Sit together. Ask a single. Oh, she's too angry to do this. Okay. Complain about prank day. Discuss interest. We can do that one, can't we? Discuss. Wait, wait a minute. Where's she gone? Oh, she's sitting at a different table. Okay. Joke with your date. Yeah, she doesn't get it. Uh, tell your date a story. I'm not seeing tell your date a story. I don't know. Does it come under funny? Tell a funny story. That could work. Okay, have a deep conversation with your date. At least this is going a little better than Dwayne. What's well, going? It's going marginally. Oh, Erica is also hot-headed. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. And now Erica's gone someplace else. Um, 
ask the cloud gaze, would that calm them both down? I don't know. But the fact that none of them want to stay together, I, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Or at least the cloud gazing. How long before she's not very angry? Okay, um... Uh, no, that didn't work either. Oh, well, but at least she's gone on two dates, which is fine. Well, I don't know if they will count as being successful as or not, but there you go. But I think... Right, who is she? Oh, Holly Alto. That's why. Alright, I think this is where we are going to end the episode. Because we've had two, two blind dates, both of them unsuccessful. But we need to get Rosina a boyfriend or a girlfriend. And we don't know if she likes boys or girls because both date both dates went as both dates were quite unsuccessful. Because if I look at their romantic pan if I look at their friend panels, Erica. Erica and Dwayne seem to be about the same, although Dwayne did grow up in the middle of the date, which was a bit rubbish, but never mind. Alright, you go home, and then we can finish the episode. Okay, I think we're going to finish things here. So, um, so yeah, so you've had two blind dates. Rosina is... I don't know. And we've got to finish Adrian's aspirations. How far has he gotten with his mischief skill? Mischief he's on level 9. Okay. And how many more days does he have left? He's got 20 days. Okay. We should be able to get this done. And how many days has Rosina got left? 11 days. Alright. So we've got 11 days to get Adrian where he's going to. So then we can concentrate totally on Rosina. But that should be... He has to master the science career as well. <laughs> has to master the science career. And he's only on level 7. We're, we're going we're gonna to have to work hard. We're definitely going to have to work hard. So thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel and I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye bye.